Hey guys, welcome to my empty apartment. <laughs> Hi guys, so the video you're about to watch is an empty apartment tour, our empty apartment tour, but I decided to come on here and just let you guys know the factors we considered when we were looking for this place and what you should also consider as a newcomer in Canada or if you're planning to immigrate to Canada basically and you're looking for a place. So the very first thing we considered was the transit system of the apartment. We needed something close to bus stations and that's something that this apartment had so that was great we also needed something that wasn't really far from school for hobby because guys this is winter <laughs> trust me you don't want to be walking miles to get to your bus station or you don't even want to be taking multiple buses to get to your school because like it's not funny at all it's cold you may think ah, it's just two buses just three buses but it's not the bus system here is efficient but it could be annoying a trip that would literally take you maybe 15 minutes by car could also be taking you um 45 minutes by bus so yeah look for somewhere close to school the second thing we also considered was the environment if it was family friendly guys we have a child so we're looking for somewhere that was um i don't want to say conducive but somewhere family friendly i'm not trying to say the whole of gta or toronto is not family friendly but some places can be really busy and a lot of things happening there and very liberal and all of that and you may not really want your child to grow up in that environment so yeah it's good to look for somewhere that is kind of family oriented and family friendly yeah, and that was something this apartment also had for us so guys we're also looking for a one bed and a den situation because guys the apartments here are not as big as you have them back home i think canada's apartments are bigger compared to the uk but they are not as big as what you get in nigeria basically so we we're looking for somewhere that had more space for us so we could like convert some part of the house as a den as a sizable den we could convert the sizable den to the world's room while we have our own space and that was something this apartment had guys you see some dens so you see some some hey <laughs> god you see some places they call den in this place it's not even den it's just like secluded location some of them are not even secluded at all so yeah that was something this apartment had so guys as a newcomer trying to get an apartment in Canada, there are documents they will ask you to submit and you will most likely not have these documents, guys, because you're just new in the country. Especially if you're coming from a country like Nigeria that doesn't operate a credit-based system, you won't have a credit history and stuff like that. And then if you're just coming in, most people don't really have like jobs when they're coming into the country, but we're asking you for like your employment letter, your pay stops and stuff like that, and you may not have that. So guys, I will advise that you get a realtor. Guys, don't be scared. Honestly, if you're using a realtor to get an apartment, you don't have to pay the realtor. Your landlord pays the realtor, not you. So once you pay your rent, then the landlord now pays the realtor. So guys, I will advise you to use a realtor because a realtor would advise you on how to um, arrange your documents or just how to improve your chances to get a place because guys, the competition to get a place here is crazy honestly it's crazy you see an apartment that you like this morning and by evening it's gone like some you won't even need to put in for it and landlord will just tell you they don't want like straight up they don't want yeah because they're looking for a particular kind of client and all of that um, so guys we used a realtor her name is kishi alaka she was really helpful she was proactive she helped us with ideas on how to improve our, app our application and Thank God everything just worked out fine guys. So yeah, if you're coming to Canada anytime soon, I would totally, in fact, I would 100% recommend that you use Kishi. She's empathetic and yeah, she'll do, she'll do a good job for you, Sha, like she did for us. And then she also got us a very nice package, which I'll show you guys later on in the video. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me not bore you guys with too much talks. Hey guys, welcome to my MTF so guys once you come into the apartment this is the main entrance the first thing you see is the laundry area so once you open it up you see the washer and the dryer 
so guys this is a new washer and dryer because it's a new apartment so all the appliances in this place are new yeah so once we close that we come into this area so what we have here is the coat closet because it's a coat closet but we're thinking of making this like Leroy's closet so Leroy's stuff will be there but for now let me give you guys warning <laughs> for now this place is messy because we just moved in yesterday so most of our stuff are here yeah so this is what the closet looks like this is the size of the closet so you hang your stuff here and then you can even have like maybe a mini dresser in here it's actually big enough so yeah once you close that you come into the den But we are planning to convert this place into Leroy's bedroom. This space is actually nice. The size is okay. Like his bed can be here. You can have his dresser here, and then maybe his yeah his reading table here for his assignments and stuff like that. I'm excited for this place because like at least we get to put his toys away, and he has a place and he has a naughty corner. <laughs> so anytime he disturbs, come right into his room. So guys, once you come out of the den area, we have the bathroom here. So this is a one bedroom, a den and a one bath. Yeah. So The bathroom has a bathtub, a nice, nice bathtub, a shower cutting rail, a towel cutting rail, and then a sink and a mirror. I absolutely love the sink because it's spacious and stuff like that. And yeah, there's also a light here. And this place also has storage under so. I love that for this version. Guys, one of the things I'm excited about this place. Let me put on our, and let me put up the light because I'm paying, I'm paying for utilities, guys. One of the things I'm excited about this place is that it has like nice storage for the three of us. So cool. So guys, once you leave the bathroom and the dead area, you walk into the living area. But the first place we are going to be staying is the kitchen. Yeah, we have a nice size freezer and fridge. Like I said, everything here is new. So, yeah, this is our fridge. So, yeah, this is our fridge. It's new. We haven't even taken off the label yet. And I think it's like nice size to keep our stuff in case we cook and stuff like that. And then we have the fridge here. So, that's the freezer. That's the freezer, and this is the fridge. So guys, we just got some things yesterday at Walmart. So that's what we have here, but we haven't even really, we haven't even really set up the fridge. So on top of the fridge, we have this nice pantry. I'm thinking of putting like um, other stuff here, like for refill. Yeah. Guys, sorry about the noise. This area still has construction, so they're still doing construction outside. So yeah, this is the kitchen. <laughs> we have a lot of storage, guys. A whole lot of storage. We have a whole lot of storage, guys. No, this is not storage. I'm not going to say anything there. But yeah, we have nice amounts of storage. Yeah. And then we have a microwave and a cooker. Guys, this came with the apartments, so that's I think that's one of the nice things with apartments in in this part of the world. <laughs> in this part of the world, you come with all these things, so you don't have to like bother about buying your microwave or your gas cooker because 
it's already here. By the way, this is an energy cooker, so it's no, it's no gas. And then we have we have a dishwasher here, guys. So this is a nice size, a nice size dishwasher. It's big enough. I'll have to get used to using this thing, Shan, because just shop shop. I like using my hand, shop shop too much. <laughs> Well, yeah, that's pretty much it. We still have storage under the sink. So these are just cleaning stuff for now. Yeah. And then this will likely be maybe those being area or something. We'll just put like a small dust in here. Yeah, so we plan on putting a dining set here in this area. We plan on putting like an office space here. So maybe like an um a table and a chair, like for a workstation kind of thing. That's what I'm planning to do today. I'm torn between my dignity and giving more to see, and I'm not the only one. And I hate to pass out to even one. So, so, I can't... so guys, once you come out of the kitchen area, this is the living area. I plan on putting the TV units in this in this area. Yeah, TV units for here. And then here, I plan on putting, I plan on putting on a couch here. I don't know if like just a normal size couch or maybe like an L-shaped couch would be nice for this place. But yeah, and maybe a small coffee table. So once we are done with that, we come, <laughs> we come into the room. This is our room. It's a nice size room, guys. Like I was surprised by the size of the room. So this is a nice size room and a queen bed can fit in here quite nicely. And then we have our closet here. Guys, this place is messy, but I'll still show you guys. Just show you guys this the size of the closet. So yeah, this is a nice size closet. I can fit in comfortably. I live in this box as well here. I can actually fit into the closet comfortably. So I plan on getting like a dresser to give us more storage here and then we just hang our stuff here like normal and then there's more storage up okay. here so yeah guys that's pretty much everything we have a balcony but i don't want to show you guys that because of privacy i don't want somebody to find me and come to my house but yeah let me show you guys what our realtor got us I forgot to tell you guys, we actually didn't view this place by ourselves. We didn't we didn't get this place by ourselves. We bought it with a realtor. Her name is Kishi. I'm going to be putting her her contact in the description. So if you're coming to Canada anytime soon and you need someone to help you find a house, she's she's like the perfect person to work with. She's going to help you with everything. She came for the viewing, she did everything for us guys, and then she also taught us a gift. Yeah, so this is what our realtor got for us. For is this housewarming? I don't know if it's for housewarming, but yeah, she got this nice stuff for us. She got us chocolates, more chocolates, and then she got us yeah this stuff for the house from Bath and Body Works. Yeah, what is it? I like chocolate. You like chocolate? Yes. Okay, we'll talk about it later, okay? So she got us this stuff from from Bath and Body Works also. Yeah, from Bath and Body Works for our house. And it sounds so nice, guys. So so nice. Yeah, so that's pretty much that's pretty much everything, guys. We are grateful for this place. We finally moved in and I hope you guys enjoyed watching the empty apartment tour. I don't know if I'm doing like a furnished apartment tour, but as we keep updating the apartment, I'll keep letting you guys know what we have added to the apartment and all that stuff. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and until next time, you guys stay safe and take care of yourselves. Bye!